Hi, I'm Jeanette, and I want to talk to you today about simplifying, specifically simplifying design. So, why is it important? Why do we simplify? And what can simplifying do for us and for our art? And how can it improve our art? So today I want to start with number one, the why. Um, there's ease in the studio when you simplify. When you cut back on what you're bringing in to the studio, the day that you decide to go in and do some art, if you can cut back and not put everything in, you will have a freer time, you will have less bad art, you will feel more freedom and joy, and you can break through some barriers in the studio and get unstuck. You don't have as much in your mind to deal with, so it's simpler and it's easier. It brings about an ease and a freedom for you. Number two, what simplifying can do for you. A quote from one of my students, she says, it's the confines of the exercise that allow for the release of creativity. And how true this is. If we're all balled up in our head with a lot of stuff or do's and don'ts or rules, um, we, the creative self cannot, the intuitive self cannot flow through us. Our mind is too busy on too many other things. Will the color work? What color should I use? Can I put more color? Let's see, how many more colors can I throw in, in there? How many more things can I put into this to make it work out? When in reality, it's the statement less is more is really, really true here. So that is such a good quote and I love that. Um, simplifying literally frees you. It literally frees you up. You have less to think about and the inner person, the inner creative self can come through more easily when there's less up in here. Number three, how can simplifying improve your art? Your true, as I said already, your true authentic creative self can come through. When you have tools and just a simple plan, so a lot of you might think that tools are rules, but I'd like to rather think of it, think of them as tools. You don't have to have them. If you think it's a rule and you don't like that rule, then get rid of that because that isn't going to bring you joy. But I have compiled a few simple things that I've used as tools over the past few years that have really helped me to get through the muck and just sort through and just take what is actually needed the most. Um, you know, if you want, you can put all kinds of things into your painting. But if you look back and think, gee, this looks chaotic, it might be because you've put too much in. So, the th um, I have simplified it down to three main things that are needed for a great design, a great composition. And they are... Number one, limited palette. Two, your lights and your darks, which is your values. And number three, where to place those values. So I just want you to understand that simplifying is a good thing. It's a thing that I have aspired to, and it will catapult your art to the next level. So I want to thank you for joining Simplify and I'll see you in the group. Bye.